day my dreams are coming true. Day by day I'm more in love with you. When you have your arms around me, I'm nearer and nearer to heaven. Is that one or two bites of Burton? Uh, one. Good evening, Mr. Eccles. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Eccles. You looking very smart tonight. It's funny you should say that, because it crossed my mind only this morning that this hat of mine has seen better days. Old favourite, eh, Mr. Eccles? Good evening, ladies. Welcome. What can I get you? What do you think, Ella? I'm sorry, Mr. Eccles. My hat. Past its prime, do you think? Well, I suppose a new one wouldn't do any harm. his precious hair. That's right. I'm surprised at you, Bob. Talking to those creatures. <sighs> Decline and fall of the Roman Empire. You read this? Almost. I say. That's only the first volume. There's another six to go. What do you want to write all that for? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Cold enough for you, ladies? It is a bit parky, isn't it? You make a lovely fire. Do you know that? Thank you. Mr. Eccles, you're in early tonight. Good evening. Evening, Mr. Eccles. Usual, is it? Yes, I'll have my usual. Cold tonight, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm all frozen. Oh well. Oh well, what? What? Just oh well, what? Oh. You said oh well, so I said oh well, what? Well, one often says, oh, well, doesn't one? Does one. What are you doing in there, Bob? What's up? Nothing. <laughs> You've got a new hat, haven't you? Ah, you notice everything, don't you? It's very nice. You're responsible for this, you know. Am I? Yes, you told me I needed a new one. I didn't. Yes, you did. A new one wouldn't do any harm, you said. Don't you remember? It's hardly the same as telling you. I took it as an order. You shouldn't take orders from me. Oh, shouldn't I? You interested in the theatre at all? The theatre? Yes, I like the theatre. The reason is, I happen to have two tickets for the new play at the Apollo. Oh, yeah? And I was wondering whether you might like to come. Me? <laughs> Can't afford it. It's not a question of affording. They only go to waste otherwise. As if it's kind of you, but I can't just take an evening off. Go for a matinee. Oh. Well, that's not much better because my only free afternoon is a Thursday. It's a Thursday matinee. I've got to go somewhere Thursday. Have you? Yes. Thanks ever so much, all the same. Can't you put it off? It'd be a bit difficult. But not impossible. Well... Don't you want to come? Yes, then I do. Then why not? You've just said you like the theatre. Yes, I do. Then come. Seems a pity to miss the chance. Hmm? <laughs> 
Well, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, it was. Yes, well worth the trouble. Now, the question is, where are we going to have tea? Can I have tea, Owen? You're free, aren't you? I suppose I am. Really? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure you won't have anything with that? A little fancy or the like? No. I thought you beautiful young people like to stuff yourself with pastries. I dare say that beautiful young people do, but if you're not beautiful... Now, what do you mean by that? Milk. Yes, please. You haven't answered my question. All I'm saying is that no doubt beautiful people do like eating pastries, but if you're not beautiful... You don't. Sugar? No, thank you. So what about the beautiful young people who don't like eating pastries? I don't know about them. But you must. Why? You just told me that you yourself don't like eating pastries. Mr Eccles, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. I'm not beautiful. Ah. That was a wonderful play, Mr Eccles. You liked it, did you? Oh, yes. I'm ever so grateful. Well, there'll be lots more of that. What part of the world do you live in? I'm over at Chiswick at present. Very nice. Yes, it's all right. I have my sister-in-law staying with me at the moment. One's relations can get very trying at times. Yes. But then these army people are often like that, aren't they? Mm. So your family are army people then? Old army people, yes. I'm sure you know the type. Not really, no. My brother was in the army, but he was just a private. Got killed in the war. Dear, dear. Were you in the army, Miss Dreckles? No, I wasn't, as a matter of fact. One does get lonely, don't you find? To get lonely, do you? Well, why do you suppose I asked you up? I don't know. Why did you ask me out? I took to you. Do you get lonely? I should say. It isn't nice, is it? Have you got any friends? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, if you can call them that. Friends who want to take advantage. Why would they want to do that? Well, I suppose if one's got a little something put by. But that's not right, is it? It certainly isn't. You wouldn't take advantage, would you? No, I wouldn't. Of course, it's very nice to be in a position to... Yes. ...as far as one can. May I? Here we are. All for you. Careful. You haven't told me anything about yourself. There's nothing to tell. Well, I'm sure there is. A fair de cour, for example? No, not at the moment. Surely you have. You can confide in me, you know. I haven't, honestly. What about that young fellow in the pub? Bob, you mean? Yes, that's right, Bob. What about him? He's good-looking enough. Yes, he is good-looking, isn't he? But there's nothing between you? No, no, there isn't. Bob isn't interested in me. I see. And I'm not interested in him. Aren't you? But good heavens, no. I suppose we're just waiting for Mr. Wright, then, are we? Is that it? Maybe. Mr. Wright, eh? Hey? I can make my own way now, Mr. Eccles. Thanks all the same. Eh? Hey? What? It's been a lovely evening. Has it? Yes. And I'm sure I'm ever so grateful. Eh? Hey? Eh? Hey? What? What? You shouldn't be doing this, you know. Hmm? What? I said you shouldn't be doing this. What? Mm hmm?